My estimate for the Europe trip was a little off. I suggest you get a job. A summer job. Happy graduation, Keno. How do you guys see this as a kind of a coming of age film? For me, it feels like a coming of age film because my character, he goes from this place of kind of like innocent love to appreciating like her character for all of her flaws and um, because of all of her flaws and her complicated personality. Um, so it's kind of this maturation process. Hi. Hi. I really want to see you tonight. What'd you dig about this movie, man? Um, I like that it felt like uh, each character, I felt like I'd been each character at some point in my life. Mm -hmm. um, particularly the strong Latino girl. I can see that, yeah. the resemblance. Be cool with that. For me, it was uh, a function of just, you know, playing a character that, that is flawed and real and human and has some depth to him and doesn't necessarily have to be liked. Right. Which I, I found refreshing. Do either one of you remember a time in your lives, at least at this point, that, that you kind of had that magic summer where you kind of felt like you crossed over into adulthood? I had one, <laughs> yeah, summer where I like fell in love with this girl. It was like just the most phosphorescent experience, I guess is the only way to describe it. And I sent her actually this necklace um, <laughs> and literally, I had a, such a crush on her. I sent her this necklace, and a few weeks later, she sent me back the necklace, <laughs> saying that I should give it to another girl who we knew. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I'm amazed at how tiny my paycheck is. We are doing the work of pathetic, lazy morons. <laughs> Did you ever have that crappy job where all your friends work together, you know, in the summer? And Man, I had lots of them. I, you know, I worked grocery stores, graveyard shift for a couple years. Um, it wasn't a summer job. It was, you know, a burgeoning career. <laughs> I worked at uh, restaurants. I worked at a yacht club. All right, the race is on. We have a winner. Here's this. Hey, James. Have you ever seen a horse race before? You really got it going on there. You got it free! This is how we met. No, this is uh, all based around an amusement park. Do, are you a, a fan of the of the parks and the coasters and things like that? No, you know what? I just think like I don't. It just seems like a breeding ground for mincing sociopaths. Did you know you were going to be doing your own stunts? I don't think I did any of my own stunts. Well, what's up with the punching and the, you know, the beans oh, and the okay. franks, man? I mean, come on. <laughs> Jeez, I don't think I ever got actually hit. The guy who played it is uh, this guy named Matt Bush, who's like the nicest guy in the world, so he was so concerned with Over actually. Overtly considerate. Yeah, like. and they had cups at the ready. Kristen, did you know that uh, you, you might be only the second person in film history to be uh, driving around in an in a AMC Pacer? <laughs> oh, yeah, second. Who's the, who's the Wayne's third? World. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. I didn't even ever think of that. Yeah. I mean, like, oh, well, that's awesome. You had a pretty cool car in that movie. Plymouth yeah. Duster, man. Oh, I did. Yeah, 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 I did. Nice. The did you get a, chance to bring to, that up. get a chance to open it up a little bit? Um, you know what? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, most, most movies when you're shooting a car scene are done on a process trailer, so I'm not even driving at all. <laughs> I, I nodded off a couple of times. Are you getting excited uh, about the end of the month and heading up to Vancouver for New Moon? I'll yeah, I actually had to come back oh. from there. I was already working on rehearsal and mm -hmm. like makeup tests and hair tests and stuff like that. So uh, I can't wait to get back. It was like, I mean, I... Been a whirlwind, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Nasty. You'll get better at avoiding that. How about the tunes, man? Pretty awesome. Yeah, really. Yeah. You know, were you familiar with all that music? Um, you know, by the end of the movie, Amadeus had sufficiently rocked me. Amadeus, Amadeus. 